happy Tour de Cure weekend and congratulations to all you champion fundraisers who are watching out there. My name is Jonna Houston and I have been involved with the American Diabetes Association for many years. Well, including advocacy work and the Step Out Walk and Tour de Cure and now this new virtual Tour de Cure 2020. You may have seen me volunteering in the Living Red Tent sharing information about diabetes with attendees or out there walking on the walk path on behalf of those living with diabetes. Tonight, I want to say thank you. Thank you to each of you who chose to go above and beyond. Now, we all know that there's no fundraising requirement this year, but you chose to fundraise anyway. You chose to fundraise amongst the top 10% of all participants nationwide, and that makes a huge impact, and you have. Thank you, Tour de Cure fundraising champions. Tonight is for you, and I want to share with you why your fundraising and your support, why it means so much to people like me. I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes 13 years ago when I was 56 years old. <laughs> yeah, do the math. It was surreal though. And for several years I had watched my mom deal with her diabetes and I knew I wanted to learn how to manage mine differently while supporting her at the same time. Unbelievably, when she passed away last fall 2019, it was not at all because of complications of diabetes. Seven years earlier, starting at an A1C of 11.2, at the time of her passing, her, she was able to bring her A1C down to 5.8. Wouldn't some of us like to have an A1C like that? I know that I would. I had always thought that diabetes was a sentence of forbidden foods, amputations, blindness, and eventually sometimes death. But now I know that having diabetes is not the end, but it's the beginning, the beginning that leads to a quality and a longevity of life. Now I have never been prescribed insulin, not one time, but through diet and moderate exercise, I was able to maintain a pretty significant weight loss and also bring my own A1C down from 8.2 to 6.9 in a two year period of time and maintain it for a while. Well, it has started to creep up a little bit over time, but I'm back to working very hard on bringing it to the numbers that it needs to be by a little bit of an increase in my uh, medication and also moderate exercise and nutritional changes that I absolutely like. Because of the fundraising and the ongoing research and community outreach from the American Diabetes Association, we who live with diabetes have new hope, not stigma, not wives' tales. I have to believe that's true so that I can control diabetes in my own life while fighting in the support of others. This Diabetes Association event is so much more to me than just a walk or a ride or a run. It is our opportunity to change the future and make a positive impact on the lives of those who are affected by diabetes. 34 million at last count. I am committed to being an advocate for life and inspire others to support us in that effort. Not just because over 34 million people in the United States have diabetes, but because in addition to myself, we all know them personally. So to all you champion fundraisers out there who made your goal and have gone beyond, thank you for your incredible fundraising and support. We still have some time though, and I know that you'll continue to push for those last minute donations. I know I am. Diabetes doesn't stop, and neither do we. Let's have an amazing virtual tour to cure this weekend, and let's show the world that we are unstoppable. Go Red Riders. Go Red Runners. Go Red Striders. Go Champions.